Well, hi everybody. I wanted to show you my crocheted um, flip flop tutorial. It's for a using the soles of these cheap Walmart. Excuse me there for a second. Look at that, ninety eight cents um, flip flops. I'm going to show you how to cut the bands off, and you're going to end up with a flat sole like this. Um, if you're going to wear them outside. I advise you to glue the tabs back in and I'm going to show you that. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut these off. I just kind of do this like that, okay? And then I cut this one off kind of flush there. So you can just throw this part away, okay? So now you have these little jibbies. I just push them through, okay? So there's that one. And then these have kind of this, see this like angle? Okay, I push it on through, All right, and I do this one the same. Okay, so now, end up with these little pieces like this. So what I do is I cut it off and just make it like a little button. See there? I'm using kitchen shears, by the way, because they're sharp and they're heavy duty. Okay, so I'm just, wherever it lands, you know. So I'm ending up with these little buttons. I'm gonna make that one a little bit more, okay? And then this one is the toe. You just want to make sure it's not poking you. So I cut it off about like that. So when you glue these back in, you get this little ring. See that little ring? You can take it out of there. That's just to keep your uh, thing from going through your toe. I make sure that when I put it back in there that it's not sticking me. So, you know, nothing's sticking up there. Once I, decide, once I get... Um, it flush or how I want it to fit then I take my flip-flop and I put a little bit of you can use um, tacky glue uh, you can use hot glue it just doesn't last as long and it kind of will melt your flip-flop if it's too hot a temp of, of um, glue you'll see this is brand new so I'm opening it okay but I just uh, just put a little bit right in that kind of like in the hole and then I slide my up in there like that okay you want to let that dry probably a good hour or two and you want to do the other holes the same way if you plan on wearing these outside okay um, this one is the bottom I've already started making my holes uh, with this and I'm going to show you how to do that next let me put the lid on my glue. Okay, so here we have. Uh, make sure you start with your holes um, on the, you know, the good side that's touching your foot. Um, I also like to take this little sticker off the bottom here or on the heel. I don't know, they get gummy and nasty and, you know, they're just not good. Okay, so I bought this handy dandy little tool today. I was going to buy me a um, crocodile or leather punch or whatever. Didn't want to invest that kind of money into it. So I got this little awl. It's in the sewing department. Okay. And it's very, very sharp. Um, you could probably use a bamboo skewer. You could probably use a knitting needle. However, knitting needles are kind of blunt on the end. This is like, look how sharp that baby is. I mean, it's very sharp. And I mean, effortless. Watch. Literally all the way through. Um, I'm going to space my holes. Now, I didn't get too close to the edge because these will split. So, I just make sure it's nice and open there. Then I go about a quarter of an inch next to it. Quarter of an inch. Now, you can measure them if you like. I'm a little impatient. I don't measure. So, you're going to do that you have them all the way around and again you can use you can use a 16 penny nail you can use a drill press um, there's lots of different ways to get these holes in there this gives you a nice thick hole um, and it seals it up too so it's not a big gaping hole um, I like that about it but anyhow you're going to continue until you get all the way around I'm going to stop the video until we come back okay we're going to go over a few tools um, the things that you're going to need to work on your flip-flops. I've already glued in my uh, tabs. I've already punched all my holes. Um, this pair, I cut them off flush with the 
base and then cut off any sharp points. And these I don't have to glue, but I still had to glue, glue my toe right there, okay? Um, I'm using <clears throat> peaches and cream, 100% cotton. You can use acrylic if you like, but I, I prefer cotton because you, then they make a machine washable. Um, using a size F hook to actually go through the sole and start my beginning stitches. And then I'm gonna to switch to a size H um, hook to actually make the shoe itself. Or you can use an I um, and it'll just make your holes a little bit bigger in your shoe. Okay, we're gonna get started. Okay, just a couple things before we get started. I'm using a peaches and cream, 100% cotton. A uh, two ounce ball, you'll get a pair of uh, slippers out of one ball. Um, I've made my holes and I'm going to use my size F hook. And I'm going to start back here on the heel. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start my first stitch by pulling this through, okay? Um, I just kind of pull it on the way through and I just do an overhand knot. And I tie it not super tight to where it's pinching the sole, but just tight enough. And that's kind of like my, it's considered my first stitch, but my first single crochet will actually be in the next one. So I go in here and I'm going to keep this tail kind of close to the body and catch it. And I'm going through and pulling up my yarn, making a single crochet. And I'm going to do that in every stitch around, every hole, sorry, around, like that. And like I said, I'm keeping that uh, tail close to the body of the sole of the shoe, so I catch it. Sometimes these holes are a little hard to get into. I'm going to turn this as I go, just so you can... Kind of see it. Let me get me some more yarn here. The next one. Pull that a little tight. Hear my dog walking around her toenails on the hardwood floor. Okay. And I'm going to use that size F and go clear around until I get back here. All right. And once I get back here, actually I'm going to be in the hole right before where I tied on, I'm going to start my next video by finishing in there and starting my shoe, uh, starting the actual uh, base of the shoe. Um, so go ahead and do your single crochet, which gives it almost the blanket stitch look, but it gives you a foundation to start your single crochets in. All right, do that all the way around. See you back. Okay, so we're all the way around my flip-flop with a single crochet. All the way around. I'm doing two different color flip-flops at the time, so I can get catch you up here as what I'm doing. Okay, so I single crocheted, and here was my very first one where I tied on, and I've tucked my tail in behind my weave there. Okay, so I'm going to go into... Uh, my loop there and I'm going back into that very first one where I tied on and I'm going to pull up a loop whoops I like that sometimes that happens okay so I'm going in all right and I'm going to make a single crochet all right and I'm going to get this round to where you can see it that very first single crochet I made I'm going to slip stitch into that and chain one okay kind of taunt it there and then chain another one so actually chain two you're going to slip stitch you're going to get here you're going to go back into that same very hole where you tied on your first knot slip stitch into the very first single crochet and then chain two okay then you're going to turn your flip-flop around Get your string on top here and you're going to work <clears throat> left or right to left and 
every you're going to do a single crochet going under every one in between your single crochets under both loops you're going to go under both of those loops so I'm going to show you one real quick here a couple try to get back here so I can see I'm going under both of those grabbing it doing a single crochet going under both grabbing my yarn single crochet. Now, see I'm already doing a mistake because I need to be using my big hook for this. You want to use at least an H or an I. I will be making it a little, uh, your stitches will be a little open so they'll be, um, it'll be more of a mesh looking uh, shoe. So I'm already under that one so I'm going under the, this one. And this goes very fast. Once you get the base stitches in here around. Again, I'm just going under every one of those and it starts to create my, um, you know, the edge of my shoe up. I'm going to go all the way around and come back here and slip stitch into my very first chain two spot and uh, meet me back there. Okay, I'm back to my beginning. I slip stitched in my very first uh, chain two spot and <clears throat> now I chained one to start my next row and it's simply one single crochet in every stitch around and you're going to do three rows of single crochet so you'll have a total of four rows of, of single crochet for your um, starting of the shoe. You have your base here. That doesn't really count as one because you need a foundation to start on. So this first row we just did is your first row and then you need three more. So you'll have four rows of single crochet. Do that and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I did my four rows of single crochet and I actually got back here and you know I'm when I slip stitch into my first stitch of my last row, um, I chain one and then I start my next row. I've started row five and it's going to be a different amount of stitches on every size you do so I can't really give you an amount of stitches here other than I want you I want to try to tilt this up to where you can see it I want you to kind of eyeball where the shoe starts to bend right here so this one is actually the left foot um, so at your pinky toe kind of where your the toe starts to curve this is where stitches start to change a little bit and we start to decrease so we can cover the toe a little bit more. Right now we've got a nice side on our shoe and like I said this is four rows plus my fifth row that I just started right here. So I've got my fifth row up to my pinky toe. Let me grab my hook. So now what we're going to do is we do one single crochet. We're going to skip the next and go into the next one and do a single crochet. Single crochet in the next one. Okay. And then skip the next one. Single crochet in the next one. Skip the next one. Single crochet in the next one. Skip the next one. Single crochet in the next one. Skip the next one. Single. Skip. Skip one. Single. And I want to see if I'm at the, yeah, I've kind of come out of the curve now of my shoe. So I started, I started my skipping at the curve here. So I skip one single crochet, skip one single crochet, skip one single crochet. So it's you got a single crochet, you're going to skip the next one, single crochet, then single crochet into the next one. So you have two single crochets side by side and then you skip one, two side by side, skip one, two side by side. So you're going to do that till you get around to, uh, I call it the big toe joint, where the big toe hump right here. Um, you're going to stop doing that and now it's just a single crochet all the way back to the heel. Alright, do that. Okay, row six. 
is just a repeat of row uh, one through four and that is just one you're going to do your slip stitch here at the back starting your new row chain one in one single crochet in every stitch around slip stitch into the beginning of the next of the last row chain one and we're starting on row seven row seven now we're going to tweak this heel a little bit and we're going to do exactly what we did on the toe by decreasing i'm going to skip the next stitch single crochet and then single crochet in the next skip the next stitch which is right there i'm going to skip it and then just draw on this heel in a little bit and then single crochet skip one more and then single crochet here on out and we'll repeat that on the other side of the heel when we're coming around um, back on this side but now we're just going to single crochet till we get up to the pinky toe area and then we're going to decrease again and this is really drawing this shoe tight over the toe and around the heel so it doesn't fall off because cotton tends to stretch okay so we're up here right around we're going to decrease not there starting here because it's starting to curve okay let me move this up starting to curve so i want to start my decrease so i just did a single crochet i'm going to skip one and do a single and then a single next to it and then skip one and then do a single next to it skip one it really makes this really pretty open weave look on the toe chain in the next or single crochet in the next skip one single crochet in the next skip one single crochet in the next and skip one more just to kind of finish out that and then single crochet down this side in every stitch this is row seven we only do a total of nine rows okay and then right when we start around this heel part right here i'm going to skip one right here and then single crochet in the next okay and then skip one and a single crochet and then I'm going to skip the very last one and slip stitch into the very first top of the last stitch right there and chain one now this is what we have so far like I said it goes very fast we are on row seven of these um, like I said we only do a total of nine rows the next two rows are just single crochet around um, and that's just going to tighten up this and like I said it, it opens up quite a bit but you want it kind of tight this this is going to gather in a little tight but that's okay because this covers your toes so you're going to have two more rows and it's going to come about out here so go ahead and do two more rows of single crochet and we'll I'll meet you back here to tie off okay so I slip stitched into the beginning of my last row this was row nine I just finished and I'm just tying off and I'll hide that tail I'll use a needle to hide it but I'm just going to tuck it inside for right now and I'm going to snap this out of here and I'm going to try it on give me for one second while I get it on okay there it is I have it on now I what I did different because I have my white pair on see this white pair this was a size 910 flip-flop that's what I normally wear what you'll notice is I have a lot of space back by the heel um, where this one is a 7-8 and I chose a 7-8 because my heel went to the base or to the very back of the flip-flop um, like back here and then my toe went clear to the edge of and I'm going to move out here so you can see the difference. See, I have a lot of heel space behind this one. And I got a lot of toe space. Like, I can slide my foot forward 
in this one and I can slide my toes back and I have a good inch in front of my toes on that. that's a like I said a 910 this is a 7 8 and I wanted a more snug fitting 